Sir, I just request two minutes of uh, indulgence of your time of a topic which is not related to the budget. With your permission, sir, I will write to read something in Marathi. Konte kapde ghalaiche hets tharonar. Kai khaitsa hets tharonar. Kuthe zaitsa kadi zaitsa hets tharonar. Kai bolaitsa kai nai bolaitsa hets tharonar. Kai share karaitsa kai forward karaitsa hets tharonar. Mag ya hukum shai manaichi tar ani bani cha rag ya amchavar kardnar. Yanchavar tika keli ki rashtra doha cha khatla taknar. लोकशाही साथी आंदोलन के लिए तर आमी आंदोलन जीवी मरुन है आमला हेटर नर लोको हो आता तुमी काय करनर श्वास कोण लाए अवस्था संकट अप्लिया दारा तीन वाट पाहनर यहाँ वेलिस तुमी विरोध करनर का उबेर आनर या चा विरोधत सर I stand here and I ask for your indulgence just for one minute to talk something which is not related to the budget the honourable finance minister is a very dignified lady I am a woman. We both have daughters and we are very proud. I am sure she is very proud of her daughter and I am also very proud of my daughter. So what has happened unfortunately in Karnataka and my young friend I don't think is in the house right now from Karnataka who spoke exceptionally well. I may have disagreement of views but he did speak very well. I want to bring to the notice that there is a gentleman, can't call him gentleman, a uh, uh, member of the MLA of BJP from Karnataka has today said Rapes increasing because of women's clothing. Sir, I repeat, rapes are increasing because of women's clothing. Hijab pehne to BJP ko dikkat hai. Kapde dusre pehne to bhi unko dikkat hai. Moral policing bhi karenge aur thought policing bhi karenge. I actually urge the Honourable, because the Honourable Minister is from elected from Karnataka. I would ask her for justice. I hope she will intervene. Whoever that MLA is, this must be condemned and I request this entire house. Sabke ghar mein bibi hai, sabke ghar mein bachche hai. If we should not tolerate any such thing and unanimously this house must condemn. If any man is saying that we get, women get raped because of their clothes, I think it's shameful, it's condemnable. We have daughters, we are very proud. Look at the example of our honourable uh, finance minister. She wore a beautiful Sambalwadi sari on the day she gave the budget. How dignified she looked from that Orissa, it was a beautiful handloom sari. We all take pride in our Indian clothing. How does it matter? We don't judge each other on clothing. As a matter of fact, I want to compliment her because there was they were increasing handloom to 12% GST. She brought it down to 12, 5%. I thank you on behalf of all the weavers of this country, which I am very proud of. We are very proud of our Indian traditions. But if any man in this country is going to demean women like this, we all in one voice, all the members must raise it and say no to this, sir. Thank you. Sir, another smart point that the, I think the young member is not there. I just want to put the record straight. He spoke very aggressively against dynasty, which is okay, is every right in a democracy. I just want one small question to ask you. Who is Ravi Subramanyam? He's a BJP MLA from Karnataka. Does he know him? And if he knows him, by any chance, are they remotely related to each other? But I am very proud of whose daughter I am. I am not ashamed about it at all. I am proud in the house that I was born in. But I want to ask him that what is his story? And I just little one small learning note. Preeta Munde, Poonam Mahajan, Hina Gavit, Khadsa, Raksha Khadse, Sujay Vikhe Patel, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, who also is now a minister, sir. Piyush Goel, Dharmendra Pradhan, all my very good friends. I am very proud of them. I am all part. Just the common thing I have with them, we were all born in political families and I am not ashamed to be born in a political family. I am very proud to be born to my parents. Just to come back to the budget, the fiscal... Ah, one more small point that the young man made. That he said that business, there were no businesses created. Uh, pre Modi ji era, post Modi ji era. Just to remind him, he talked about Bangalore. Vipro, if I stand corrected, sir, is probably also in Bangalore. Infosys is a very large company in India, also happens to have some presence in Bangalore. I am very proud because we have them in our state. The big vaccine they talk about, sir, the vaccine company of Poonawalas, who they just, this government has given an uh, award to, I think Padma Vibhushan or Padma Bhushan he has got. That also company comes from my district. That man started from zero. He went to school with my father. So I know the entire background. So these are all companies. Vipro, Sipla, Infosys, Kirloskar, Ambani, Bajaj, Valchand Group, Kalyani, 
Firodia's Pune Wala Dudh are all companies in the last 50 years who have done and contributed. So please don't run down these families. They have contributed to wealth generation, not centric, but to everybody, and they have created wealth and they have created jobs and have influenced our lives. So let's not demean all these families who started from nothing. Now to come to the main points of the budget, sir. Sir, in the fiscal deficit. I still remember Arun ji here. We used to very keenly hear. We are much younger members, very inexperienced, and we used to take points from all of them when they read the budget. Be it Pranab Da, be it Chidambaram ji, after that Arun ji, and there was this FRBM Act which Atal ji's government had brought in, and Yashwan Sena, Atal ji's government, right? Rudi ji, thank you. And I still remember, and a lot of times we all discuss, governance is about continuity. There are good things from this government which we are proud to take. and we are happy that we could continue them and perform deliver superior results for this nation so when we did this frbm act your government did we continued it for 10 years where 3% was decided that would be the fiscal deficit so 6.9 i'll come to that uncle 6.9 is what she has agreed to come to now now if it's from 3% raised to 6.9% have we agreed because if it's a law which we have all continued i am not such a finance expert so this 6.9 is what we have achieved as a fiscal deficit so have we made those changes in parliament when a land and arun ji had committed to keeping at 3% so just for my inexperience in finance and very limited knowledge of finance i need to know because this is connected to the 1 lakh crores which has been given to the states so 1 lakh crore i'm grateful to you for giving it to all the states but i have a small question since my knowledge on finance is not so good sir that if 3% of this fiscal deficit will it be same thing applicable to the states when they borrow money because you have given this 1 lakh crores to the states now most of these programs which will go through will be center driven now be it all kendriya yojanas bm pm gsy which again you have changed the thing now it's 60 40 we have done. sarva shiksha abhiyan ppm avas yojana icds everything what the center wants to implement in our states they will decide how much we spend how much it i mean nishikant ji is sitting here he was singing the praises of the railway that has come to goda we are very happy if he says it's an aspirational district it's doing better we are happy for him congratulations but my friend here krishna who's sitting here was saying that 6000 crores his state needs to give for railways they don't have that kind of money so by giving this 1 lakh crore with this fiscal deficit with application of the frbm act and with this pushing all the center programs will this 1 lakh crores really help all our states is my question if you could kindly in your reply explain that how will it help our states please abana to the extent that i am responding now you don't uh, cut the time given to honorable thank you that's Supriya very Sur. kind of you ma'am thank you i'm i will elaborate during my reply but because it is important for a member to and this was mentioned in the budget but because it's important i thought i'll intervene so that everybody else can also benefit from it the 1 lakh crore which is being given to states sir because we want to speed up infrastructure uh, and capital expenditure is over and above what the states have been given under their borrowing limits so it's not going to affect their borrowing limits one second there is no interest on this amount there is no interest being charged because center is giving it and center is giving it for 50 years they don't have to return it bef till before 50 years and if everything is fine in terms of inflation and otherwise even otherwise after 50 years what would that one lakh be so keep that in mind sir that is one thing which i want to convey through you to the honorable member second when uh, the state is being given the money it is more with an in intention that several of the projects which they would want to complete they can use this amount in total we are not saying we give matching grant you give this much this is exclusively for you to use fully so i thought it was a uh, a way in which we are supportive of the states and therefore we have given it so one it doesn't affect your frbm two it doesn't give you any interest burden three you can use it for any project which you want to do finally sir this question of frbm 3% arun ji we honor all that but that very same frbm act has a provision 
that you can, in case you breach it, you, you can always come to the house with a deviation uh, statement. Any government which breaches it, and I think uh, I can probably say it off the cuff, subject to correction, during the UPA government, several times it was breached. And since you were alert, you would come to the parliament and say, sorry, deviation, and seek the parliament's indulgence on it. So now, deviation and breaching 6.9 this time, I would wonder if there's any member in this house who will have an objection, and least of all, would Supriya have an objection for it? Years of pandemic, one and a half years, now nearly two years, and the only call that I've had from everybody was spend, spend. That's what is going to give the stimulus. Well taken, we spend. It showed a difference. We are spending now, it will show a difference. And naturally, you will breach the 3% uh, fiscal deficit. And therefore, we go to 6.9. And I don't want anyone to say, think that, oh, this is unusual. Pandemic was unusual. And therefore, 6.9. It's a responsible fiscal deficit. And in fact, that is a kind of fiscal deficit where we've tried to do enough balancing between keeping up spending and being fiscally prudent. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Supriya ji. Supriya ji. Supriya ji ka record mein jayega. Thank you very much. So, does it applicable to the states? If she could kindly in her reply let, I am, I am happy to wait very patiently for what she has said and I appreciate for, thank you very much ma'am for being so indulgent. The other question was about GST compensation. Today my state has 28,365 crores of GST comp uh, compensation pending. So, I would like to request the Honourable Minister that if they are indulging and giving us so much flexibility, I have two questions. When will all our GST money come? Point number one. And point number two, with this, will 6.9 our borrowing also, will this help us if you could indulge the states in more borrowing? Because I'll give you a small example. Now, Pune Nasik semi high, uh, high speed railway. The project has come. We have tried to put some money together, but we are, there's no mention in this budget. So we don't know where we really stand in such a big project. The same thing is applicable to all the CESs. Now, I want to make this humble request. Mehtab ji also talked about the CES. Now, CES is something which actually takes away from the states. If we have no problem if they take it for health, yes, education, yes, yes. I understand. Kindly that's conclude. Just two minutes, sir. Just two small points I will make. I understand that I, I don't have that kind of time. But just two very small points that if you're using health, you're taking cess for roads. Look at CRF as an example. CRF was in, in, the, roadway, uh, in, the, in the road transport ministry, which is moved now to finance, which I've really not understood why this change was made. But if this cess is collected, is it really all improved? And the CAG report, I'm not claiming, the CAG report said a lot of the cess collected is actually not used. Like if it's collected for education, it's not used for education. If it's raised for health or roads, it's not used exactly for that head, which I don't want to make an allegation against anybody. But this is mismanagement of monies, especially I appreciate what she's saying. It's, a, it's been a misappropriation of funds. So I'm not making an allegation, Nirmala ji, please don't get me wrong. But I just need to know because we are in a pandemic and states are under a lot of pressure. And last one small point, I'll keep the rest points for my next speech, madam. I, the Honorable uh, the Prime Minister yesterday talked about coal and he was very kind enough, I still remember his speech and I, that for me is a very painful topic because I still remember when we sat on that side and they were on this side, they really talked about coal mismanagement and I was really deeply pained that is this really true? Eventually what happened is another story sir. But when we talk about coal, I still remember this government saying that 3 lakh crores is the money they will raise. I corrected Stan, yesterday the Honourable Prime Minister in his speech and Rajya Sabha said that in all the coal, I would have actually spoken in detail but I'll just make it as small and crisp as I can. They said that they have managed to raise only 14,000, now where is 3 lakhs, where is 14,000, my number could be even wrong. But they have not been able to manage, they have not been able to generate the kind of money in coal auctioning when they are. So when we did it, it was considered as corruption. Thank when you. you do it and don't get the money, Thank it's okay, much. which is slightly unfair. So I think we are all for transparent and fair system. There is much more I wanted to actually Thank speak you. beyond coal about Thank smart cities, so much money is in touch, but maybe I can Thank you very much. Next. Thank you. But I appreciate her efforts during the pandemic, all I'm requesting her is the states are all, I don't want to use the word broke, but under a lot of financial stress, 
we need the big brother to support us thank you. we are thank willing you to much. walk an extra mile i hope you walk an extra mile so that we grow india together thank you thank you very much